Take two! Starting a fort for reasons unfortunate. No, I did not plan to lose the character almost immediately after asking whether or not I should probably start a fort. Not at all. <laughs> Sorry. I was not planned. Anyways, uh, take two because I checked out a site and I didn't like it. And I had recorded like a good six minutes of stuff before I decided I this just wasn't the place. I, it was right... Um, where was it? I think it was here. Yeah, it was here. It was just too... The, it had potential, but it was too flat. It was nothing going on. I don't necessarily need another volcano, though it would be nice. Uh, but... I just I decided it wasn't for me. I do kind of want to be in this area, though. I think... I wish, I really wish this volcano was right there on the coast. That would have been the best if it were. Oh, but I want, I want some kind of, I want mountains, really. I want mountains and coast. I wouldn't mind desert. Desert's really nice, actually. Hmm. But there are no volcanoes near this, this desert. Hmm. What do we got? We got shallow metal, deep metal, so only two metals. What have we got in the other biome? Deep metals. Okay. I also... <coughs> excuse me, or else... I also kind of want... What am I saying? I kind of want a... A place well suited to a diagonal fort. Because that seems to be the thing with me now. I like diagonal forts. I think... Because you can have both odd and even symmetry at the same time. It's really nice. And that's a big deal to me. Shallow metals, deep metals, aquifer. I'm just searching randomly. Because, unfortunately, I found it rather difficult to... Yeah, aquifers on both sides. That's not going to work. Really difficult to actually get my character around. And I got caught up in things that I... Were still too confusing for me to know. Ooh, interesting. Exactly what I was doing, so... Sadly, I think... I kind of wasted the <laughs> series. I'm sorry. Hmm. It was entertaining, though. What do we got here? Deep metal, shallow metals. We got. I mean, aquifer on that side. One thing I really care about actually is. Um, well, first, I have to be part of the flag of equity. Otherwise, they won't know anything about my characters that I've played. Elevation change, not much. I want. I want some elevation change. I don't, I don't want square mountains. I hate square mountains, but I do want some elevation change. What do we got here? Um, mountain conifer forest. Interesting. Shallow metal, deep metal, flux stone. What are the odds one of those metals is iron? Walls of shearing, saffron jungle, serene common. It's a bit too calm for me. I want some challenge from the local creatures. Ooh, what is this? Blue. Lots of blue things. Dip, dip. Lots of towers in the universe. Getting down here to cold places. Lots of foreign dwarves, actually. We don't want no stinking foreign dwarves, do we? Ooh, what's this? <laughs> Tiny little island. Is it an island? No, it's not. It's not an island. It's very cold and... Ooh. Oh, weird. The aquifer is not in the ocean. Mirthful, and, which I think is middle grade and wilderness. I wonder if the ocean will be frozen. Oh man, let's see. Flag of equity, high. Hmm. There's some cliffy niffs going on there. Still looking for a place that I actually like. <clears throat> Did a bit of a search this time, looking for the presence of a river, no aquifer, at least deep and <clears throat> uh, shallow metals. Not necessarily multiple of each, but at least one of each. And a higher elevation with savagery. Actually, maybe I didn't pick a river. Did I pick a river? I'm seeing rivers in each of these cases, so I must have. But I'm looking for a place with some 
some temperament, you know, like the, the, the landscape is a little hot. No, yeah, I guess a little hostile, you could say. I would love to have a volcano, but what scouting I did just didn't really produce much of worthwhile volcanoism. So I'm still looking. Still looking. Right. This spot. This spot might work. So it's got Undamed Wild, so it's savage all around. It's got uh, Shallow and Deep Metal and Flux Stone. It's got no no metals whatsoever and an aquifer here, so I might not be able to transit down. So I may have to abandon this recording. I do want a place I can actually use, you know. <clears throat> but otherwise it looks like it could be interesting, and it's it operates on a diagonal, so that's just important to me. So uh, let's try it. Okay, so here's my uh, here's what I'm taking with me: picks, battle axes, iron, anvil, rum, ale, beer, foods, thread, cloth bags, ropes, meat of the wombat for the best. Uh, a lot of buckets. Uh, people usually get thirsty; they go straight for the bucket. I figured might as well have a few extras. You know what I don't have is animals. That's what I usually do. I bring animals. But they'll bring animals in a, in time anyway, so I don't care. Uh, as for as far as my characters, I actually fiddled with this a little bit before going back to recording. I had my miners. I have always three miners. I had them. Um, two of them were f also proficient fighters, and I couldn't remember why I did that. I took that off both and um, made one also an appraiser. And the other is... Just a general jack of all trades, so he can sort of do carpentry, weaponsmith, you know, in, in furnace stuff. And I, and then the third guy is also butcher, tanner, leather worker. This guy, the mason, mason building designer, and uh, the woodcutter has instead of also being the carpenter, the woodcutter is all now also going to be my one and only actual fighter. So he'll use that axe for fighting if necessary. Also a wound dresser because. Uh, my my diagnostic, uh, diagnostician is only a diagnostician. Oh. But otherwise, thresher, grower, herbaler, uh, cook. <laughs> herbaler! And yeah, this guy, he's the diagnostician, or the, the certain whatever. He's he's not good at any other sort of medical, medical stuff, he just diagnoses. Other than that, he teaches, leads, organizes, and keeps records. <sighs> and that's pretty much it. So, let's... Uh, Let's uh, name the fort. I like that it was on the coastline. I also like that it had sort of a diagonal leaning, though we'll see. I may end up deleting this clip if I decide this isn't the one I want. So which one? Am I on Fortress? I believe I'm on Fortress. <laughs> they should probably remind me which one I'm on since I'm so easily distracted. <clears throat> Let's say C. I always liked Alas. It's a good one. C. Guard? Duthnor? No. C. Escape. Scad. Escape. No, no escape. Sea Town. Sea Tower. Alasamos. Sea Town. I mean, in English it sounds really droll, but. Not droll, boring, whatever. Alasamos. Alasamos. City? Eneth. Alasaneth. I like that one. Of course, it obligates me to have a city. I kind of wish there was a. Friggin' volcano in the middle of this uh, peninsula, but we'll find out. Okay, and group name, the Mirrors of Shell? No, I don't think so. Uh, watch. Azine is always a good one. The Watch of Shell. The Watch of Oceans. Azin Magrur. No. Wet. Wait, hey, hey, I said no. The Wet Watch. Catalazin? Catalazin? <laughs> I suppose, you know, they get probably get pelted with nasty weather all the time. The second, was that the first or second? Um, the damp? No. <coughs> moist. They have moist. <laughs> Idashazin, that sounds terrible. Um, the wave, wavy watch, Cascusad. No, 
the um hmm shoot C searing no <sighs> the uh, sea watch alas Sazine the wavy sea watch get rid of that just get rid of it and come away the sea watch alas Sazine that's okay alas Sazine I'll do that and here it is let's zoom out I wish the landscape was a little less square. I really do. But it's interesting. And it looks like, is that? No. That right there is not sand. But there might be sand available from here on the beach. That might work out OK. <clears throat> it does promote uh, diagonalism, which is something I'm going for. Ooh, ooh look at that. That all that uh, obsidian suggests to me that there's probably going to be, ooh, and what have we got? Copper. Yes, copper is a functional metal. I can make stuff out of that. Oh wait, well if this is going to happen, let's let's experiment. Let's use our ever useful technique for finding the. Uh, I don't know, room sized spine of the place. This won't be useful in the long run, but it will help me find where I want to operate from. Let's see, come on, come on, come on. Thou shalt not bore thine um, viewers. <laughs> I was trying to think of a word for you guys. All right, so there's the spine of the place. That's the biggest thing we care about. Um, aquifer, we need to pierce downward in a place where aquifers are not present. And it looks like I might be able to do it here, maybe. The only problem with that is almost certainly there's going to be wave action and water's going to wash down. So that might not work out. So first off, let's let's do an experiment. Let's again diverge a little bit. We'll go off here. Granted, remember this is not the what the place is going to look like, but I do want. Let me see if I can see this correctly. Yeah, I did the wrong one. I want to see. If aquifers are in fact present before I do too much work and then decide oh I don't want to play here anymore hmm well let's J let's find out if I can get past the aquifer without being too close to the shore okay oh he's doing more work than I wanted but that's okay well that's okay D so far, so good. D. So far, so good. Please, please, please. If this works, I will take this place as a fort. So far, so good. Very well. Come on. 11 opal. Works for me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let's go one deeper. I think we're safe from the aquifer on this side. Sometimes it tells you there are aquifers and there aren't, which might be happening here. But I'm down in the stone now and I see nothing, so I'm going to call it. Welcome to, uh, is it Alasaneth? Vetting aside, I do need, and I wish there were, uh, I do need to opt for an initial layout. I, I'm thinking I want something actually fitting the town name, so... <sighs> hmm. Oh, I don't know. Uh, 
a central large fortress, but an actual town of less symmetrical buildings around it, I think would be nice. Uh, as you know, and this is on the surface. Um, this is a flat place, so we have to provide the topology, I think. How are we doing for trees, anyways? That's not bad. Ooh, tall trees. Are they usually that tall? Oh well. So, the way down into the fort, the primary point here is um, here now, we've derived. So, this should be a choke point, but I think entry to the fortress is going to... Uh, be kind of drawn and drawn out. I don't have the option here, at least as far as I know, I do not have the option here to do, you know, a magma uh, defense system. So I'm going to have to come up with something else. But first off, like I said, choke points. I like larger, you know, stairwells like this, but I do like that it's one wide here. So I'm going to start up up so probably what will happen is there'll be barracks and the like so let me open that up a little bit actually and well let me let me see how far this goes before I try too much else so far so good I gave my all my guys a slightly more fleshed out skill or options just so they can Construct some of the initial buildings, which I might as well, since I'm not going to really have to defend myself from anybody just yet, build right here. So let's get some... Uh, what am I doing? BWZ. Let's get some uh, facilities going. Do I ha Oh, I have no economic material whatsoever. Okay. How about a couple of trees? We'll take out some trees here. In fact, we'll take out everything on the corner because there will eventually be a forest... Uh, fortress here. Let's gather some plants too and uh, expand our stocks just a little bit. Stupid miners ended up trapping themselves down downstairs in a way where I couldn't they couldn't find their way back up. So I had to make an extra staircase. Which I will get fixed at some point in the future. I'll probably make hard walls in these places sometime in the near future. First, though, I've got to get them to reconstruct all the things they refused to construct earlier. Progress continues. I forget now if this blocks BWE. No, oh, BWE. BWWE. There we go. Um, no, it does. Yeah, it does block. Okay. Uh, I wanted them to explore. See if they can't find the aquifer, because if I can actually control bits and pieces of the aquifer, that would be of some use to me, really. Um, I'm using what will eventually be barrack space for storage right now, and they're building more storage uh, and operating space down here, as well as starting to flesh out some stone, rough stone, but stone uh, stairwell business for me. Ne I'm going to need to wall these off uh, safely before very long. I think it's safe to say I'm probably going to have a long, narrow entryway above ground, from the looks of it. Maybe, maybe, maybe indented into the ground, but I don't know for sure. Actually, I can get rid of this now. Let's get rid of the wagon. And uh, as soon as you guys feel like uh, digging, oh, I'm good for it. Let's dig, fools. What are they? They must be busy down here. What are they doing? Constructing stuff, that's right, because everybody has multiple roles right now as as uh, new guys. I also set up a few jobs. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. U M. There we go. Beds, doors, meals, drinks, stuff. Putting in some temporary beds for now, just so people are happy about it. What else? Anything else? Mm. No, they still haven't even started digging yet. Building up my... Uh, stairwells here and they're making progress I'm trying to figure out how to this zone is designated gather pick fruit but I don't know if that's from you do that from the leaves or from the ground beneath so actually I think I'll just for now 
do it both ways and we'll see gather pick fruit uh, I also have <clears throat> this is a sand gathering zone I have a fishing zone over here and also one up on land as well here uh, that's about it for the moment I don't quite understand why but this place is choked full of uh... yeah look at that there's nowhere to, is there's nowhere to put that stuff Mm, that might be part of the problem. They just don't have anywhere. No, there's plenty of space in that food. I'll, I'll make another one, but there's space. I don't understand why they say there is not. Let me. Oops. Shoot. That didn't go well. Food, please. Ugh. Food. Please. Just a little bit more space for food. Thank you. <sighs> they are working on the walls up here. Not that I'm asking them to do a whole lot. I have asked them to make a trade depot just in case people show up since it is summertime, actually. They might started this fort later than is normal because of the time I spent playing Rajel and a few other exploratory characters after her. Uh, but they seem unwilling to take things out to the refuse pile, which is here, but you see it's, they haven't taken a single thing out. I'm not sure if that's because they think other things are more important right now. Or if there's something else screwing that up. So let's put a bit more wall here. Recall that I had said earlier that with diagonals you can have even and odd um, symmetries at the same time. You're not just restricted to three wides or two wides or whatever. This guy is effectively. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. A two wide. You know, it's a nice little bottleneck. Uh, it's a little bit narrower, so any, let's say, force of creatures coming from underground trying to come up through here would have a harder time of it, you know? But it also, you can expand them in sort of, I don't know, semi-organic ways like this. It's kind of nice. But, yep, I'm just, I need more stone, and I'm, I want them to explore down. So we'll just go down by, let's say, down to 10, see what happens, if anything. And uh, keep on keeping on. All right, wait a minute. A donkey's been slaughtered. Lots and lots and lots of messages. I still have all my guys. They're just not doing much. OK, oh, sorry, I was just uh, how far did they go? Not very far. Let's go another 10. Uh, I was just checking because apparently the game was running without me knowing it for quite a long time and it seemed like it would have been enough time for them to starve, but whoa! Speaking of which, I have a frozen ocean. This will be easier with the mouse. Whoop. So okay. What month is it? Oh, is that a guy? What is that up in the corner? Who we got up there in the corner, yo? Giant gerbil or something okay yeah I don't know maybe we can build something out here in the water as long as I don't fall prey to the whole you know um, thawing thing what month is it can I tell how do I can how can I tell what month it is I don't even know when it happened so I'm just wait a couple of years before I use it for anything we'll see what month it unthaws follow the leader Follow him to places. Let's see. <clears throat> what are you working on? I've, oh, good. I've asked them to pre prepare a... <clears throat> what's it? A cistern? A place where water will be stored. Um, <clears throat> coming in from the ocean. Hopefully with large enough uh, volume that when the rest of the ocean freezes next... I don't know. Sounds like two-thirds of the year. Um... I'll still have water inside, and then of course I'll have a uh, a well right here. You know, in the future, it does look to me as though there may not actually be an aquifer here, despite having been told there was. I'm not sure how much I want to risk finding out. Let's let's put one down here and see if perhaps it's still below us. Shall we line the floor with? Uh, Base salt? Hmm? Yes? No? Hey, look! 
Aquifer! Cool. So if I get rid of this, I can have a, def a secondary water source. No. Jeez, okay. Anyways, uh, crap. I got guys hanging out on the ice. This is not good. I'm going to have to put some place for them to congregate, and that will be a meeting hall for now. So hopefully now he won't feel compelled to waste his time out on the surface of the ocean. I'm creating a bit of a thing, but this is mostly just so I can get at the schedule. Which doesn't... Oh, oh, current, obsidian. Okay. So it's, it's the middle of winter? Is that right? I need to better familiarize myself with the camera. I, I The calendar, that is. Oh, I only bring this up because, look, I, I missed when it turned, but it, it went back to water. So it didn't last very long, which means I have plenty of time to finish this construction down here, but then have to get it done quite quickly afterward. There'd be elves here. Where'd they go? Where are they? They're up there. Okay. Come on in. Come sell things. Let's see. Um, crap. Come on. There we go. <laughs> crafts. Get rid of all the crafts. I don't have much of value yet. And they're not going to take anything wooden. Do I have any? That's pretty much it. That's the whole shabob. That's all I've got. I can give my axe. Do I? I think I want to keep my axe. Hmm. I guess that's it. I probably can't buy much of anything, but what I can buy, I will. Hmm. Let's see. What progress? I, by the way, have a bottleneck entry. I can re I can re uh, retract this bridge to dispense with access to the outside world if necessary. That's something, anyway. I at this early stage to protect the place. Starting to wall it in with actual stone. Uh... This path is partial. I, um, they've I've run out of material to work with. I was just getting them here to dig out just a little bit more, but I don't know. Let's see. I expanded this here. They apparently haven't finished, but I expanded that as well. All right. Let's see what they've if they've got anything of interest. Got a Chris. Man, this has gotten hard to read. The new way of doing things is a little harder to read than it used to be. Dates could be useful. That's all I got? Really? That's their entire list of things? That's their entire list of things? Wow, I've never seen that before. Let's go for this. Oh, giant thrips, giant capuchin. I can't really afford either one of those. In fact, I'll probably be lucky to afford this. Trade, 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 trade. I'm happy to be generous. That's good. Uh, can I get anything? Splint? Or a bucket? Mm, clay? Now nah, let's just go with the, with the food. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> That's, I've never seen such a small group. Now check this out. Check this out. Look at, whoops. Wood frog. It doesn't have the graphic though. I have a graphics for wood frogs, but this is the ones, one of the ones I made using the, um, Oh, sort of the inherited uh, creature variations technique. I've since kind of pulled back on that a little bit, but I think it's still present in this version um, just because I had started playing Rajel before I had made specific corrections. But still, the graphics should be shown. It probably doesn't think it needs graphics for what are considered vermin creatures. Uh, the giant and holy versions and whatnot of it would not be considered so. So you might see those in graphic form if they ever show up here. Let's see. Anything else to say? Anything else to do? Where is everybody? He's at, he's trading a depot. You don't need to do that. Anymore. Actually, I think maybe by now, yes. <laughs> One. We'll, we'll let somebody deliver that. But I'm going to call it an episode because I can. You guys are helpless to prevent me. I am going to continue mulling things up for later uh, later projects. Right now I've got, as you can see, a few more shops in place just so people can stay busy doing things that uh, might have been useful to the traders. 
But, you know, it's a start. I don't have a strong plan yet for what's going to happen here. And probably never will. But we'll make it work anyways. So, uh, thanks for watching. Sorry about my character. Hopefully they'll remember her in this location in some way, shape, or form that is yet to be revealed. But, uh, yeah, that, that's cool. All right, well, thanks for watching. Come again next week. Oh,